Welcome back. It's still the breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. We're going straight to the Northwest region, Kaduna State to be precise, where 233 teachers you know, have been sacked by the state government and precisely the government is actually planning on the competency test uh, next uh, year. We have joining us to look at um, all of the issues and uh, what's going to happen to the teachers, uh, the ones that are left. We have uh, uh, Ibrahim Dalhatu and he is with the State uh, uh, Universal Basic Education Board. Good morning to you, Ibrahim Dalhatu. Many thanks for staying with us. Thank you. All right, let's just dive straight into the issue, right? If we may, uh, from what we understand, 233 uh, teachers have so far been sacked from Kaduna State, uh, all because uh, they uh, presented or have um, fake um, certificates. But the question for me right now is that, um, how come this was not discovered uh, before now, knowing that um, competency tests have been done by the state government? How come we are having some sort of a, a, a recurrence uh, if you may. Well, uh, on the issue of this uh, first certificate, uh, I think it is the government that employed uh, this, uh, our teachers. And that uh, the NUT will not depend any any person or teacher who is having a fake certificate because we don't encourage our team members to have a fake, fake certificate. In this regard, uh, we, we must commend the government effort uh, on uh, pushing out these fake teachers. But what we are saying is that whoever is having a new certificate, definitely the NUT will come and, and see uh, how we will resolve the issue. And remember, the issue of this uh, first certificate, uh, they have uh, brought it out uh, because we said we will not go for that competence test. And they should, they should know, and our listeners should also understand that uh, we as the Eastern leaders, we don't encourage uh, having teachers with fake certificates. I okay. just correct an impression right now. Uh, actually, sir, I actually said that Ibrahim Dalhatu is with the State uh, Universal Basic Education, but he is actually the chairman of the Nigerian Union of Teachers in Kaduna State. Go ahead, Mercy. All right, so um, I'd like us. I'd like you to take us through how you know this two hundred and thirty-three teachers were discovered with fake certificates. Actually, I don't know how they have uh, discovered that they were having the uh, fake certificate. Uh, remember, as a union, we don't employ teachers. It is either their government or the previous government that have employed them, and that uh, if at all they have found out that they were having that first certificate. It is, it is a welcome development and, and they should be fished out. But what we are trying to say here is that whoever is genuinely having that certificate and that uh, we will not force our hands to see that uh, they were being, uh, 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 getting out of the job, just like that. We will, we will look to it and we will, we, will, we will call for their certificate and we, we too as a union will verify their certificate. So who, who then is responsible for um, ensuring that you don't have fake teachers or teachers with fake certificates or teachers that are not competent in the system? Well, you see, uh, I told them that uh, the issue of competency tests uh, as they were reiterating was that uh, they were thinking that uh, our teachers don't have certificate and they were not qualified. And uh, the, the basic question that one should ask is that, who employed them? Was it not the government that employed them? And did the government give them training, a retraining? You, you see, in every profession, there is need for training and retraining. And from there, if at all there is any gap, then that gap will be filled by training and retraining. That is our, our point. And that uh, uh, most of the times they want to conduct a competency test, and the test is on cognitive aspects. What about the issue of psychomotor and the affective domain as an educationist? That's why we say this time around, we will not allow ourselves to, to subject ourselves to, to that competency test. 
because we, we get to understand that the motive behind that competency test was to reduce the, the number of workforce in the, in the, in the, in the state. And, and uh, as far as the issue of certificates, just like I have said, NUT will not protect any member who, to, who is found to have that test certificate. We don't encourage that in NUT. All right, Mr. Dalhatsu, the question concerned. right now. Who Mr. Is, whoever is doing a job with the universal basic education as a teacher, then he, is, he or she is our member. And if it happens he has or she has uh, that pay certificate, that is not our concern. And let the government teach them out. All right, Mr. Dahatu, the concern for, for, for us right now is that you're talking about uh, not wanting to be involved in this competency test, but 233 uh, teachers, you know, have actually been sacked. And you represent, um, uh, you know, the NUT in Kaduna State, which actually represents, uh, you know, the, like an umbrella body for all teachers in your state. But is it possible that uh, these 233 uh, teachers must have been part of your, you know, your union and, and as such, and there's no such of a detection to know that they were not really competent. How could this just have passed without, under your watch, and you would not know that these teachers were not really competent or qualified, you know, at that? Uh, you see, uh, uh, that is one of the mistakes that the Universal Basic Education Board uh, made as far as uh, teachers is concerned. Because they were not involving all the stakeholders, had it been they have consulted us uh, what they were intending to do, uh, they will, will help them to teach, to teach the offered right teachers in, our, in the system. They, they didn't involve us, they have done it unilaterally, then definitely we will go for the certificate of those uh, three, uh, 233 teachers that they said they, will, they were having that best certificate. And we will ensure that uh, if at all they were, their certificate were genuine, then we will protect their interests. This is one of our cardinal responsibilities as union. But whoever among them is not having that uh, uh, genuine certificate, let him go. These that teachers, the these the teachers, union. are they part of the NUT? These 233 teachers that were served, are they part of the NUT in Kaduna State? What? The 233 teachers that were sacked by the state government, are they parts of the NUT in Kaduna State? Yes, they are part of the NUT. Uh, why? Because they were our, mem they were our members. And they so were your members, you and you did not know the they state, didn't uh, Universal Basic Education or at the State uh, Minister of Education, then you are a member of NUT, automatic. That lo uh, the law organized that. So you so we will not say that they were not our members. They were our members. But if at all the government found out that they were not having that big, uh, the new certificate or the requisite qualification, then it is our responsibility and duty to uh, to uh, to find out whether it is true what the government is saying or not. If it is true, then we will protect their interests. And if if at all they don't have the new certificate. Then there is no way we can protect their interest. Well, but the government is saying that, you know, they have done their verification, that this certificate, they have contacted these institutions where these teachers claim to have graduated from, and, and, and they have found out that these certificates did not emanate from this institution. That is actually the case now. You see, the, the kind of uh, uh, the way Amana Subeva uh, conducted themselves is that they were underrating the union. Why is it that I said they were underrating the union? Is that had it been they have involved us in the verifying the certificate of our members, then definitely we, we, we will get to know the truth of the matter. But at this time around, it is only the government that's saying they were having face certificate. And we will not agree that they were having that face certificate until we, until, we, until we conduct our verification too. We will go to the institution where they say they were having that face certificate. And let the institution verify to us or and tell to us that they were having actually uh, that face certificate. So then from there we will agree, yes, they were having the face certificate. Remember, NUT does not employ a teacher. It is the government that employs them. 
So it is also the responsibility of the government to employ the proper and appropriate uh, persons to, to be employed as a teacher. So you're saying that this is an indictment on the part of the government who should be responsible for ensuring that you have, you know, the right and qualified persons in the system. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Yeah. So what is the fate of the teachers at this point in time? I mean, uh, those, I don't know if we should be calling them teachers, uh, who presented fake certificate 233. You know, just like I have said, that 233, how sure are we that they were having that certificate? Had it been the, the survey involved us in the process of uh, getting to know whether they were having that certificate or not, then this kind of uh, argument will not, will not be arrived. So this is the problem that we are having with them. They were not involving all the stakeholders in, in their activities. But had it been they have involved us, then we will push them out and we will after 10 years they were having that certificate. All right, uh, Mr. Dalhato, let me just get some, um, some information clear now concerning all of that. From all that you have said, from all the foregoing, there is uh, a bit of disconnect between uh, stakeholders in the education sector in Kaduna State. For You said uh, that you guys were not carried along you know, when all this uh, you know, recruitment uh, process was done. And uh, you said that the NUT does not employ uh, teachers, but the government, fine, we agree. So, but right now, what's the true picture, you know, at the NUT in Kaduna that when you have meetings and when you have um, teachers in your for fora, you know, what's, what, what, what do you guys discuss specifically? And um, how do you ensure that, uh, you know, quality, you know, is actually assured to the students who are actually the end users of your services? You see, uh, just like I have said, uh, NUT as a board member, but I, I don't, I cannot recall the time when Subeb invited us for a meeting discussing issues relating to uh, education in the state. But had it been the way we were involved, then we will prefer proper uh, suggestions and ideas where this thing will be ensured that it has been done the way it ought to have been. But uh, as a union, we want to reiterate again that uh, we will recommend the effort of the government of fishing out whosoever is not qualified to be called a teacher in the system. It's true that uh, we will have a quality education in the, in the state. All right, Ibrahim Dunhaltu, let's also talk about, I mean, you are the chairman of the NUT. Uh, what are the challenges of teachers in Kaduna State? Do you have other challenges? Are there other concerns that teachers are faced with? Challenges uh, teachers face in, in, in Kaduna State, uh, they, they are numerous, actually. You see, uh, the, the teachers were not being given uh, their permanent appointment from foundation later. Then they were not enjoying yearly increments. Apart from that one, uh, they were not. They were. They were the one buying register jobs. Uh, let's not let them plan whatsoever. And if you have gone to the school, you will find out that the environment is not so conducive. These are some of the challenges that the uh, the teachers in Kaduna State uh, are, are facing. And the issue of even thirty thousand million. <laughs> Ibrahim Dunhaltu, can you hear us? Uh, we, have, we have done uh, something that uh, the government should have done something tangible to correct all these anomalies. All right, uh, Mr. Dunhaltu, you know, in your exchange uh, so far, you have talked about, um, you know, how uh, the NUT in Kaduna State is uh, dissociating itself from the competency test which the government has actually proposed or is uh, set to do sometime next year. What exactly are your reasons? Reasons? You said 
I, I didn't hear you very well. There is a, a plant competency test for teachers in Kaduna State. What's the position of the MUT in as much as you have said that uh, you don't intend to be involved or take part in that particular test? What are your reasons? Uh, some, of the, some of the reasons that we said we will not participate in the competency test was that uh, we were informed by the last competency test that was carried out by SUBEB. You know, in that competency test, there was a promise that whosoever is, uh, is failing the, uh, or was failed the test, that there is a need for training for that person, and there is a retraining for them again, and there is no any issue of safety. But uh, as the test has been conducted, just one day we found out that our members have been sacked. You see, all the promises that, that have been made, the government did not fulfill that, that promise. That's why this time around, when they are trying to conduct this uh, competency test, we are saying no to it. Why? Because uh, for the past experience that we, we were having, we know that they want to reduce the workforce. It's not the quality of teaching they are after. They are after the reducing the, the number of workers in, in the state. And remember, in that 2017 or 2018, that the, new, the newly recruited teachers, they came out and told the world that they have recruited the most competent teachers in our various schools. Why brought, what brought the issue of competency test again? Are you trying to say that you are contradicting yourself, yourself that they are not competent at the time when you say that you have you have employed teachers? Uh, Ibra Mr. Ibrahim so Dan, how to we, we have to let you go at this point in time. Is training or retraining? Uh, the only way that we th thank you so way. much, Ibrahim Dunhaltu. We would have to let you go. Uh, that's for the want of time. Uh, we hope that uh, we will have another time where we can talk about this. Ibrahim Dunhaltu is the chairman of uh, the NUT in Kaduna State. Many thanks. We'll step on the brakes now. When we return, we head straight to a second conversation where we'll be looking at Libya's presidential and parliamentary elections. Please stick around. <laughs>